Hello everybody, my name is Super Video Gamer, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. First, we're gonna get some sleep. Where's my bed, bitch? Arthur! Arthur! No, no, dude. What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. I'll be right back again. Okay, I'm back. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Okay, come on, Charles. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney. 
about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Found anything? Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Pretty recently, Look, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Idiot. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's your trip? These days. All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, easy! When me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want. Find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Huh. They seem to head into the forest now. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. Come on!
think you are? Waste of my time. You stay there. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, for Christ's sake. I took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Hello. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Ha! You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, man. Well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. That must be it. Easy. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Go deal with them, my brothers! Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. They've gone into the cornfield. We need to flush them out. Look at the birds. Go that way. Cowards!
Dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Take him. Get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> are coming from that barn! Come on! Back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> Sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here, at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles, you take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. OK. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but 
Well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Guess what's coming, don't they? <laughs> yeah, you're such thing up. Something up. Come on now, boy. Hey, 
Get away from me! Nothing uh, you, mister, excuse me. Just back That's a nice hell. horse. <laughs> All right, let's go. Christ. Howdy. Jesus! Shit! <laughs> Jesus! Even a lawman can get shot. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I sit in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But... No great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks.
go. Don't you? Oh, my. Oh, look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, 
about what we got here? Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Having conquered evil the way I have, what can I do for you? The uh, guy with the snake yeah, well, bite says I can put something here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his old, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though.
देन है फैकिंग गेट है Rescue Trelawney, so that makes two. Let's go talk to Strauss. Hey, boy. Yep. Dumbass. Welcome back. Okay, Arthur. Of course. Did they ask uh, anything about us? No. It was just uh, locals, a local problem. All right, Bella, I used here? to know. How are you? Okay. Hey, Arthur. Well, would you please try to keep away from old what people? What you doing? Oh, we're getting this much attention. I understand, boss. And I'm sorry. Really need for you boys foolish. to get out there and hunt. It was an old plan. My emotions got the better of me. 
Very good. We were getting low. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Girl, get ready! Miss Grimshaw. What, Arthur? What would we do without you? Turn feral, I imagine. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice should we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. Oh, hi, I need okay. a word with you, Morgan. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, <laughs> Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. I like I need the bed. I gotta hit the... All right. Bad, Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. That man. The debtor. Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. <laughs> We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, let's move out. So, tell me again about. 
about this big can't go wrong plan of yours? Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like a lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the Vault Man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. What the hell? Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, you rob Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks have. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Come on! Easy! feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured <laughs> they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. 
You out to trouble me? is here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Karen? Go to work. Of course. All right. Keep it cool and follow me, fellers. decided is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost so even you long to save the fallen women eh Arthur you break my heart <laughs> you really do <laughs> If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. I'm not sure this is quite the play. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's got him real dead. Would you care to? I'm with child, and it's. I don't want to go back to the workhouse. <laughs> Get your goddamn right, hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! It's unlocked! We're good! Oh, oh you think oh, we're here? No. Oh, oh, come on! Come on. Oh, Open the goddamn vault! Oh, oh, open it! Oh, oh. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay, okay. Just open the goddamn door. Too goddamn uh. slow! Uh. Uh. Come on, bitch, hurry up! Come on! Okay. Shoot up, bitch! Hurry up! I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here! Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. Now, you shut the hell up and be still! I'll keep a lookout at the door. Hey, keep still. If I see that lady move again... Blowing the door. Get 
out of here. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Gentlemen, hurry! We seem to have some company! Last one. Good. We gotta move. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What are you insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry.
think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp, and make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Yep. This is Downs. Yeah. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Okay, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, 
hit that like button and subscribe. As always, I've been Super Video Gamer, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.